Hi everyone, I am back with another review for you guys and this time it's on the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer, Face Primer. I've used this, I think I'm about halfway through it. Thought it was enough time has passed for me to share my thoughts with you. So if you want to hear how this face primer works and how it performed and if it worked on my skin tone, please continue watching. So I said skin tone but it's actually skin type. I'm oily combo generally but there are times when I go through um, phases where I just need to over moisturize like if I'm in the sun too much or I get burnt um, right now my skin is oily combo and I do moisturize my face before priming that's totally advisable even if you are oily person so I picked this up a couple months back or if I didn't pick this up my husband picked it up I can't remember if he hold it for me because um, I wanted a couple of wet and wild stuff when he was on a trip. Um, I think the cost is somewhere like $2.99 or $3.99 or $4.99. The correct pricing I will link below. In addition to that, I will try and put some links in case you guys want to get it from wet and wild's website and from like eBay and Amazon, places like that. Or you can check, I think, beauty.com. They have this. So, what are my thoughts? Sir? I've used the... Uh, they had, I think, another face primer. I can't remember if I liked it or not. I can't remember my thoughts on that. But initially, when I started using this product, I did not like it. Hands down, I was like upset, wanting to return it because I did not like it. And I think the more I use it, and I, as I swap around with different foundations, then I realized um, I actually grew to appreciate it. I'm not 100% in love with this primer, but it works. Now, it claims to be a magic potion, and I'm reading from at the back of the tube. Refines pores. I don't think it really refines pores. I've been masking a lot lately and exfoliating it and really working on my skincare so that I am, I think it helps with my pores, but I don't think it totally refines it. I am using um, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I think today was like my last use of it. <laughs> I've been really trying to get every ounce of that foundation. I love it. But it worked perfect with this. And I felt because that was a pore, um, pore minimizing kind of foundation. Or with high pores. And this did the same thing. Together it worked really well for me. And so... But I think on if when I put this on and I use like certain other foundations and I can tell you, I think I, I didn't use it with the Revlon Color Stay, but I did use it with the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte. And it was a little iffy with that one. It works well with my Tarte and my Fit Me. It says fills fine lines. Um, I really don't know about that. I do have fine lines, but I, you know... I did not see any major change again in my fine lines, brightens complexion, didn't see anything with that and even skin tone definitely did not see that. I have so much uneven skin tone with different parts of my face, I even different um, colors. <laughs> it's clear when you see me apply it, so I have a demo and I will put it um, up for you guys to see now. I have uneven skin tone and when I apply it just to me does not do anything, it doesn't brighten my complexion. I do find that in combination with a certain foundation, it does help with pores and maybe lines. Now, what really love or what I really love about this foundation is that when you apply it, um, I usually just, as you can see, pat it, um, put it on and then I pat it into my skin. I leave it for at least a minute or two and then I will put on my foundation. If I can go up to five minutes, then two thumbs up for that. If I'm in a hurry, I at least try to work with a minute or two. My foundation stays on. I love that. The way it's perfect. Stays on beautiful with my Tarte and my Matte and Poreless. And even with the L'Oreal, it stays on. My foundation, whether they are pore minimizing, it stays on. Hands down, I am so pleased with the longevity of my foundation when I wear it. Do I oil up? Not really. I was using prior to the powder that I'm using now, which was, I'm using the Kat Von D foundation powder, 
but prior I was using the Revlon Stay Matte and both I noticed that my foundation stays well. I can go without patting my face for almost three to four hours. I have been using it to like run errands and stuff like that and it works. So I absolutely love that. It's so hot and humid here that you need a primer that works like that. So for me, I usually am a grease bag, but it works in terms of longevity. And also I've noticed that that my foundation does not get, or my face does not get that oily. So with that being said, would I go ahead and repurchase this? I don't think so. I'm happy. I have a couple other found um, primers that I want to get through um, from my collection. After that's finished, would I repurchase this? I don't think so. Um, I think there's a couple other inexpensive ones that do work for me, like for example the Hard Candy, and I think there's one from Rommel. So for me, those are options around the same price, and my preference would be to run to those other drugstore. I do like the professional. It works amazing for me. I know some individuals say that does not work for them. I also like Spashbox and the Sephora brand primer. They work excellent for me. So high-end, I have a couple of those. Um, and so I will always have like a high-end and maybe a drugstore in my collection, but this I don't see me repurchasing it. I was going to give it away and all that kind of jazz, but I am in love with it right now. I just think sometimes you have to play around with different foundations if certain primers don't work just to see how well you can get you know a nice combo going. So this works well for me with the Pro Matte and if you have the Ramel Stay Matte I think you're really really good to go. Um, I would give this a 4 to 5 you know just because it's such an inexpensive product you do get um, less than an ounce, you get 0.84 fluid ounce. Uh, most other primers do come in like one ounce, like the Ramel and all of those. Um, so you want to balance it out. I do think though if you want an inexpensive drugstore primer that this is definitely something I can recommend to you. If you have normal combo skin, dry skin, I think this will work for you. If you have oily combo, like ridiculously oily combo, definitely you want to get a matte foundation and a matte powder to work with it. And I think once you have that, it's going to work for you. Thank you guys so much for your time and watching. Hope that this review was helpful. And if you have this foundation, uh, this foundation primer and you're using it, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're interested in getting it, I hope when you get it that you would be able to enjoy it. Thanks again. Bye-bye.